Hey, what is going on guys? It is Young here and today I'm back on our Fortnite video and in today's video I'm gonna give you guys some tips and tricks and how to win more gunfights here in Fortnite And also just the number one thing that I think you guys need to start using if you want to be able just to win as many gunfights as possible And before we get into the video, I'm gonna be hosting a V-Buck giveaway And if you guys want a chance to win some free V-Buck, all you need to do is to drop a like in this video Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and as well subscribe to my second channel the link for that will be down in in the description below and as well leave a comment of your xbox gamer tag ps4 gamer tag or epic account and for the winner i'm going to be giving away 2000 v bucks in which you can buy skins gliders pickaxes anything you want in the item shop so make sure you guys enter and as well if you guys like to add me and support me as a creator in the item shop all you have to do is go over to the item shop go down to the bottom right hit support a creator and type in my code my code is young humor and you guys will have me supported as a creator and all right guys let's get the video Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to win more gunfights here in Season 9. And there's a few things that I really wanted to cover in this video. And the first thing, of course, the most important thing, and probably my number one tip, or probably the number one thing that I need to focus on in this video, is when it comes to the new shotgun meta in Fortnite. And so I've been using shotguns for the past few days now here in Season 9. And I'm not even going to lie, shotguns are really, really bad. And to be completely honest with you guys, I think a really good way and something you guys should be doing too is just to completely avoid using shotguns altogether and serve the gameplay in the background. And as well, when I play Arena, I don't even use a shotgun anymore. For the gameplay I have here, I end up dropping 15 kills without a shotgun, without a problem, because honestly, the people that I'm going against in the gunfight that are using shotguns, they're hitting me for like 20 damage, 30 damage. And I'm going to either have an SMG or I'm going to have a drum gun if I can find one. And I'm just ripping them every single fight. It's really just not even fair because the shotguns in this game right now currently are not doing enough damage. They're super weak. So at this point, just not using shotguns might actually be the best way to go. Because I was just ripping every single player that I was going against. Of course, in the, in the early game, if I pick up a shotgun, if I find it on the ground, I'm probably going to pick it up. But other than that, most of the time, if it comes to the late game after I find a drum gun, not a chance. I'm not even going to pick up a shotgun, not even consider it, because it's just not strong enough and not going to be doing the damage that I want it to do. And just to put some numbers behind it, say you have a regular, maybe even have a purple or gold pump, or the a purple and gold combat shotgun. So you have that weapon and you're going into a gunfight, and to hit a solid uh, base damage, you hit every single pellet to the body, it's doing about 77 damage or so. So it's doing about 70 damage, and hitting that max damage, full damage body shot can be difficult from time to time. Time, but, that's just, but that's just theoretically said that you do hit for a full damage body shot for 70 damage That's gonna be the equivalent of shooting three shots of a drum gun because three shots of a drum gun is gonna be doing 27 each so you're gonna be hitting for over 70 either way So either you can hit three shots of your drum gun or you can just hit the player once with the, with the uh, combat shotgun But that's if you hit a full damage body shot That's not including if you're gonna hit for like a 20 or 30 or even like a 40 or 50 damage shot if you don't shoot all the way straight and as well, if you do hit headshots with your drum gun, it's doing over 50 damage a shot, which is absolutely insane. And probably the number one pe way people get screwed over using the shotgun versus someone who's just spamming with a drum gun is if you go into the gunfight and you can win the gunfight with a shotgun, but if you just miss one shot, I mean, if you just miss one shot with your combat shotgun or attack, you're going to be dead almost nine times out of 10, if, especially if you're just point blank in that gunfight, just because if you miss one shot, the other player is going to have such a huge advantage because they're already going already to be hitting you for all this damage and it's going to be way too hard to come back in that fight especially when the max damage you can do is a 137 which is very difficult to hit you're rarely ever hitting for that amount of damage so at that point it's really not even worth using a uh, shotgun at that point combat or the attack if you do hit a headshot with the attack all pellet it would it will hit for about 150 damage but you're gonna have to be point blank and as well you're gonna have to have to hit for every single pellet so it's just really just a better option and more consistent to use the drum gun because yes you do hit a lot more you can hit a lot more damage with the shotguns but if you really think about it, it's just not as consistent as it needs to be if you want to be able to consistently just destroy people in gunfights and just win games.
because when it comes to actually improving your overall chance you want to try to be consistent as possible when it comes to winning the gunfights and so giving yourself a the best possible advantage which i would say using the drum gun over a shotgun is going to allow you to win a lot more or gunfights consistently from time to time you might die to someone with a shotgun especially if they hit you with a headshot or two because that's just super unlucky if you get hit with a headshot there's nothing you can do and even on the other end of that if you're going into a gunfight against a player who's using a drum gun and they get off like two headshots on you that's already over 100 damage that's just super unlucky and probably the chances are it's gonna be very difficult to win that gunfight as well so if someone gets a headshot there's nothing you can really do and as well on top of that if you're using a drum gun versus a shotgun and if you want to do a lot of damage with the shotgun, of course you're going to have to aim down your sights. You can hit fire all the time, but aiming down your sights is going to give you the best possible spread. And so it's going to allow you to hit for that max damage more consistently. So when you're using the drum gun, if you hit fire, it basically makes it a lot harder for the other players to get shots on you. Because if you're constantly jumping around back and forth using the drum gun, it's going to be very difficult for the other players to get any shots on you. Because you're going to be all over the place and it's going to be very difficult for them to track you with their guns. So it's also a number one or a really big reason why well, i would recommend using the drum gun over a shotgun because if you ads with a shotgun or if you ads with any weapon in general it's gonna slow you down and as well it's gonna be a lot easier for the other players to get tags on you and for, the, for them to track you and get their shots off so if you're constantly hip firing and jumping around it's gonna be that much more difficult for the other players to get shots on you and that's what i would highly recommend using the drum gun as well and personally just my rule of thumb when it comes to aiming down your sights with the drum gun if they're closer than about 15 meters usually i'm just gonna hit fire and to be honest with you guys hit firing to me is a lot more accurate than aiming down my sights i don't really know why but i just had so much more accuracy and been a lot more consistent just hit firing than i have been aiming down my sights and by the time you actually aim down your sights like that distance it's really not even gonna be worth it because you're gonna be hitting for like 14 damage so a lot of times most of my gunfights as you guys can see i'm just being as close as i possibly can to the other player and so i'm just gonna be hit firing because it just does so much damage Damage, and it's just a lot harder for the other player to hit me and just overall it's the best option to use so i would recommend hip firing almost every single gunfight when you have the drum gun i really wouldn't worry about aiming down your sights because usually when i aim down my sights those are the gunfights where i get absolutely destroyed and also another thing to mention with the drum gun the structure damage it does to other structures like to walls to brick walls to steel walls it's absolutely crazy I'm almost 100% sure that the drum gun will break through any structure faster than any other weapon in the game, of course, other than the heavy sniper, but I think the drum gun is going to be your number one bet when it comes to just mowing through people's structures, and that's pretty much the number one meta that I would recommend in arena mode, or for even playing in pubs and like if you're playing duos or squads, and usually I'll play a lot of duos, I haven't played a ton of squads, but in duos, I would have a drum gun, my teammate would have a drum gun, and we go to opposite sides of this player's wall, and then we would just spam the mess out of him, and there's nothing they can do and even if they want to go for a trap kill so they place down a trap or two just because we're spraying so much and the structure damage is so high we're just going to be ripping through the other player structures and there's going to be absolutely nothing they can do and that has been one of the best ways to just destroy players and duo is just going for that pinch that double pinch with the drum gun and as you guys can see i just absolutely ripped this player down below me with the drum gun i think he hit me about 100 damage headshot with a shotgun and i just hit fired and mowed him down so hard with my drum gun so that's just another way or another good example of why even in a 2v1 situation like that i'm still able to destroy without even taking that much damage yes i did take 100 damage but i had 200 so i still had 100 shield or 100 hp left over and i was still able to rip through one of those players no problem and so the last thing that I wanted to talk about is my loadout and exactly what I'm using. So in this gameplay here, obviously I'm using the AR and double drum gun combo. But one thing that I've been using that's been very, very helpful and something that I highly recommend using is using an AR, of course, like an M16 or a SCAR, having a drum gun in the second inventory slot. And in the third one, I have a heavy sniper rifle. And this has been my go-to combo for uh, arena. And it's been working out very well. I've been able to clutch out a lot of games and it's going to be very effective overall using that strategy. But if I don't have a heavy sniper, having two drum guns is going to be very effective as well. Or even a drum gun in SMG, that would be a very good combo as well. Basically, I would just use the drum gun all the time. And if I ever run out of ammo and I need to keep shooting, then of course I can switch to my SMG. Otherwise, I want to stay to my drum gun as much as possible.
because of course it's just a melt machine but that's gonna be my go-to loadout and that's what i would highly recommend using in your loadout and of course in this gameplay here i'm using smokes and i do the same thing when it comes to competitive i'll use smoke grenades sometimes i might carry an extra heal or a rift one of those three items is going to be in my fourth inventory slot so that's what i would recommend using i think that's gonna be the best possible loadout here in season nine at currently there has been rumors that the heavy shotgun might come back which i don't blame it i think it would be a really good option because right now drum gun all the way it's gonna be super effective and if they do bring the heavy shotgun back of course i'll probably end up using it but drum gun is still going to be the most effective backup weapon to use and with that being said that's over for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys liked it and if you guys could drop a like on this video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on my notifications to be notified for every single new video and all right guys i'll see you next video